Hi, Bandana Grandma here. I'm running out the door, but I just wanted to make a little introduction here that the next video coming up is from our anniversary trip to Western Maryland, where we went just a couple of miles over the border to Spring, Pennsylvania for their annual folk festival. And there I was able to get some videos of different craftsmen and our artisans uh, doing some old fashioned weaving and spinning and all kinds of things. So this first one coming up is how to turn flax into linen and linen cloth. And I found it really interesting and I hope you do too. But I'm running out the door because my honey called and he's getting out of work early. And he said, let's go buy you a fishing pole and we'll go fishing this afternoon. Now that is exciting because He's not into homesteading or gardening or hunting, but the fact that he's taken a recent interest in fishing means we can do something together to put food in the freezer. And I think that's going to be great. So enjoy the video and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye bye. break it up. Mm -hmm. Now instead of doing it by hand and crunching it, I have a machine like this. This is called the flax brake. The flax brake is very heavy and it breaks the outside. And you can see the fibers on the inside. Now in order to get it to where you can start to spin it, then you have to take it to the sketching board. This is a sketching board and this is the sketching knife. Now they would say if you were bad you would get a sketching. Some of the older people remember that phrase. This cleans out all those little pieces of straw that are left after breaking. So we're going to just sketch it. After it's cleaned, you can still see that the individual plants, if I pull it apart, it's still pretty coarse and you can't spin it yet. So you have to heckle it. Heckling separates the long fibers from the short fibers. The long fibers are what you want for the nice material. We're making linen, right? right? These are the short fibers. The short fibers are called tow, T-O-W. The tow can be spun and woven into tow cloth. If you were an indentured servant or very poor, your clothes would be made out of tow. Um, it can be used for fire starters, animal bedding, uh, stuff your pillows with. This is called the line, L-I-N-E. Do you want to feel it? The line is very soft, and the, like I said, the longer the line and the finer it is, the nicer your thread is going to be. She has it on the spinning wheel. Once it's spun, it becomes linen. And then you spend your winter spinning, and then you take it to the weaver, and he will weave you your material. This is linen cloth that's been dyed indigo blue. Okay. Thank you very much, Beth. <laughs> Weaving classes and giving a chance to down here. To start, I'm going to lay what I did against what I haven't done. Then I'm going to allow twist to run up. And the twist runs up into the new fibers. And they're stuck somewhere, I can feel it. There's a reason that motors took over. They were a lot nicer. This is just plain water. So I draft or draw down the fibers. There's a little bit of twist between my fingers, but not much. And then this hand here smooths, but it also acts like a dam or a break. It will hold the twist back until I'm ready to let a little of it slide through to catch the fibers. 
So it does two things. It holds the twist back and it smooths and it draws. Sometimes when you're starting to spin, you keep spinning, but you don't allow it to go on the wheel. As you spin, your fiber will, will pile up in one place and you want to keep it moving because eventually if it piles up too much, it'll fall down into that valley that you've created. And nine times out of 10, it will bury itself in there and you can't find the end again. So you want to be consistent on moving it across. The reason there is a hole here is because my hooks don't go that far. This and most all of these wheels here were made in the area by Joel Miller. This one has a, has J. Miller on it and it's dated 1864. And I think the scanner, um, excuse me, the reel over there is uh, on that one. This is an unusual disc staff because it's a lantern disc staff, but it's made from the top of the tree. And you don't see these very often at all. And it's the best. Sometimes disc staffs were a sword disc staff, where it was just a simple stick written up, maybe fancy at the top. And sometimes you would have disc staffs that were independent, you know, had a couple legs and you could move it around. It's good. Thank you. What's the difference between spinning and weaving? Spinning, you're making the thread. Weaving, you're taking the thread and you're making the cloth. She's weaving over there. <laughs> yeah, I am uh, weaving. It's it's similar to rag runners. We're just making table uh, runners right now, but it's the same process. And if I were making fabric, it would be the exact same thing, except I'd be using yarn instead of um, fabric uh, strips. This is a barn loom. It's called a barn loom because it's built like a barn. Same kind of methods used to build it, or built, used to build this. Now this has two harnesses.